In this video tutorial, I would like to show you how patients can send a message to the practice using the patient portal. When a patient logs into the portal, they are brought directly to the messages tab. All documents, lab results, and general messages from the practice will come into this one central inbox. A configurable message will appear underneath the heading. This can be customized by the practice. To send a message to the practice, the patient would click Create Message. They are then brought to the detail screen where they are required to fill out specific fields. Underneath the heading, the practice has the ability to create a message they would like to appear on this screen. This can be used to provide a disclaimer regarding urgent issues or any other important information to the patient. The patient will first be required to select which office staff should receive the message. They will be given a list of providers they have seen or have an upcoming appointment with. Only providers who are participating in the portal will appear in this list. Though the patient is selecting a provider, the actual user who receives the triage for the message will be determined by the message type the patient selects. This is why the title for this field specifies that it is going to the staff of. If the patient is new to the practice and has not had an appointment yet, this field will not appear and the message will go to the general message user assigned in the portal setup area. Next, the patient will need to select what the message is in regards to. They will be given a list of active message types to choose from. The practice has the ability to turn off message types from appearing in this list. For example, if the practice did not want patients sending clinical questions to the office, they could make this message type inactive in the portal setup area. The patient will then free text the subject and body of their message. The subject line the patient enters here will be the subject line of the triage that comes into the practice. The body of the message will be an append in the triage with the date and time it was sent from the portal. Once the message is complete, the patient would click the send button to submit it to the practice. In this example, when the patient sends the message, a triage would go to the user assigned to receive the clinical questions message type for Dr. Cuthbert. The patient also has the ability to reply to a message they have received from the practice. In the message detail screen, there is a reply box for the patient to enter their response. Once it is complete, the patient would click the send button to submit their reply. The patient will then receive a confirmation message letting them know that their message has been sent. The patient's response will be appended in the original triage along with a log entry indicating it is a portal message from the patient. This concludes the patient side of sending messages.